The latest reshuffle comes just a month after the country overcame a major political crisis that saw the ouster of Mohammed Osman Jawari as Speaker of the country's federal parliament. The 72-year-old resigned due to pressure from lawmakers who accused him of abuse of office. A total of 13 new ministers, deputies and state ministers were appointed by Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaire, most of them current members of parliament who played a key role in the ouster of Jawari. Among the new appointments include defence that was left vacant following the resignation of Mohamed Mursal, who was later elected as Speaker of Parliament in April, and the Ministry of Disaster Management, a crucial docket tasked with mitigating the country's protracted humanitarian crisis that has lately worsened following recent floods and a tropical cyclone that has already claimed more lives. Experts say that the appointment is timely and brings on board new ministers once viewed as opposition politicians. The current political atmosphere seems conducive for a reshuffle. The new list of appointees is an inclusive one and brings various political entities to the Council of Ministers. This will help settle long-standing differences within the government. Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaire has been in office for over a year now. In early January, he sacked three top ministers and replaced them within the same month. The 67-member cabinet is now tasked with delivering on key government pledges, chief among them security. Shortly after Wednesday's reshuffle, the PM met with top security chiefs in the capital and urged them to boost the security of Mogadishu, a city often a target for the militant group. Militant group Al-Shabaab has been known to increase its attacks here in the capital, especially during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan mostly targeting government officials and security personnel. And it's for that reason that the country's Prime Minister has issued a 90-day ultimatum to security chiefs to either stabilize Mogadishu or to bring forward those frustrating government efforts in stabilizing Mogadishu. The security of Mogadishu must improve. Everyone should play their role in ensuring stability in this city. In the next 90 days, we have enforced tight security measures that will put an end to deadly explosion attacks and targeted assassinations. For now, government forces remain on high alert with increased security checkpoints along key roads aimed at thwarting possible attacks from the Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Shabaab militant group that's currently ranked as the deadliest terrorist outfit in the African continent. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.